ni tekna msangi ya jishinde.com Am jambo good monday morning happy idul adha to all muslims and today we are going to look at the matrix report okay creating reports using the matrix and uh, it, this is a conclusion to the report series that has taken us substantially long enough and today i would like us to do the last video official video of this series and we'll uh, do others later doesn't mean that you have exhausted everything about reports it's only that for now we need to maybe focus on another series and finish this first and we'll pick it up from there in case you have any question about the reporting that hasn't been addressed here you can post it in the comments and i'll be able to look at it let's go straight to it and stay tuned because a matrix is similar to a table remember that and but it's configured to show data grouped by columns and rows with aggregate data at the intersections the intersections will have an aggregate like sum count yeah? and uh, average what else is an aggregate maximum minimum yeah? and then some of the data you might expect to see in a row can actually become a column header so the data that mostly appears on the row will be a column header in a matrix this is similar to using a pivot table in a spreadsheet we just looked at pivot tables in excel and it's similar to creating pivot tables but now using the rdlc so i will save okay we'll save this i'll uh, i'll do this i'll do this i'll do this build this report okay something is wrong something is wrong i will build so i have created a data set that will involve the sales invoice it will have the sale to customer number the customer name the location code and the amount and then the sales person code once i have this data set i will go to my report layout and open externally because i have decided that my layout will be rendered under the report layout sales invoice.rdlc under the rendering and since we went through these basics of creating uh, all the data set i didn't want to repeat all that in this video as well because we can refer them in the previous series so i just went to I want us to focus on what we should create today so is it opening externally or what is happening did i click open externally okay let me click open externally and then we'll be able to preview our report here it is i hadn't opened the series so i had a sample report but i'll remove it and redesign the matrix afresh so remember the point that some of the data that was appearing in the rows will be a column header mm, yeah so try to think of data that is so much repetitive in the rows and you make it a column header and then this other data um, and then the data that will be on the column header as well it's a data that won't be containing a very huge data set my machine today is very slow i think it's running a lot probably for some reason uh okay 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 let me just delete this so i was saying just insert a matrix and then in the columns you'll have the location code ideally if we draw a table let me just insert a table here on the side and then we see what we could have done I'll insert a table. In a table set, we'll just say we'll have the maybe uh, the document number of the sales invoice, and then we'll have the sell to customer number and the name, and then the location code probably at some point, and then the amount. So we have this location code appearing as a row, but in this matrix, we want the location code to come in as a column group. We want to group by location so instead of it coming as a row we'll have it as a column header it will be a column header it will be a header yes column header and then the row we still want to retain the cell to customer number and then we will call this customer number 
So we need to insert our column inside the group uh, to the right so that we can display the customer name. So here, nothing much, just displaying the customer name because the customer number is mostly a generic value that doesn't uh, mean a lot. And I think that's it for this small matrix. I know the report should have who created and all that, but for this minim minimalist video, don't forget about those principles. Go ahead and create and make sure you have them. I have not put the data set. The data is blank. So the data set should, will contain now an intersection, will have an aggregate, and I've put the amount. I will summarize it by sum to get its aggregate. Right click. Come on. I don't know what I've done to my machine today. It's not as responsive as it should be. Okay, I summarize by sum. I'll change this font to Cambria. Cambria is a good looking font. Customer number. That's already helped me identify that uh, the customer number is written wrongly. And then the background. I'll set it to be pale turquoise. Okay. Okay, and I'll make it bold. There we are. We are done with creating our matrix. So our location code is not coming in as a, a row anymore. It will. It is a column header. And remember, when you are choosing the column header, make sure you study your data set and make sure that the column headers or the column group is not a value that has so many values and th that will overspan towards, uh, it will overspan horizontally. You need a value like location code that has like a maximum of five to eight distinct values. Like this one has maybe three. I studied the data set, it has three. Uh, the customer number has close to 10 probably. So the customer number will fit being on this side of the row because a row can, uh, the, the vertical, vertically it can span to as long as it should be. So, and that's it for, uh, creating the matrix and a lot of speaking we need to test I like just the building again just in case and then I run this ob object <clears throat> my machine ain't responsive at all we are creating a matrix on idul ad are supposed to slaughter the muslim they're supposed to slaughter cows so my muslim friend who is slaughtering a cow with me oh it's a goat or a sheep i don't know so we have generated and here it is uh here is our report running i have set the report in the object to open to be the default i have set it the default the default report to be that uh report that we created let me key in from here so that I can get that uh, uh, report popping up. I don't want to go back and start searching for that report again. So there we are. We are getting ready and we'll be able to see our summarized matrix report. Here it is. We just need to preview and close. When we preview, we see our report is here. It has done exactly what we expected. The column, the rows, are now column headers. Ideally, most of the time, these ones could have been rows under this, but now they are column headers. And the customer number, this, uh, okay, it gives you uh, an easier way of seeing the data, the way it's grouped. We can easily be able to tell that the red location is the one that is having cells by fewer maybe customers. Yellow is a bit dominating and the aim of a report is to show uh, data in, uh, it is to make a huge data set into meaningful, in meaningful data. You, you make it uh, easier for the user to understand and from this view, I believe it's much, much easier for them to understand what's going on and make better decisions for the organization. That's it for this report series. That's it for this video. But doesn't mean that we have exhausted as I said earlier. But I will see you in the next video. The next series. Enjoy yourselves. And keep trying. If you enjoyed this video. 
Make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one.